Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. In 90 minutes, we're going to be premiering part two of the 15-episode documentary series, The Story of Film, that a coming new installment focusing on the 1920s when the silent film era reached its apex. And one of the filmmakers talked about in the documentary is the great Buster Keaton. As a prelude, we're going to bring you one of Buster's big successes from early in the 1920s, a great example of his comic genius and a movie titled Three Ages. Made in 1923, it's Buster's homage to, maybe spoof of, one of the most influential silent films of that era, a film we showed just last week in the festival, D.W. Griffith's Intolerance. Well, in that spectacular film, Griffith had radically departed from the usual way of telling a movie story, of jumping among three separate stories from three different eras in history, instead of following one single storyline at a time. Well, with three ages, Buster is the film's creator, co-director, and star does the same thing, but does it for comedic effect. Setting his three tales in prehistoric times, during the height of the Roman Empire, and what was then modern times, the Roaring Twenties. All the stories have to do with Buster and a burly fellow competing for the affections of a woman played in all the segments by an actress named Margaret Leahy. And it's fascinating to see who plays Buster's competitor. It's none other than Wallace Beery. 38 years old at the time, still years away from his becoming one of MGM's most popular character stars of the 30s and 40s. So here from 1923, and the first film on which Buster Keaton wore four hats as a producer, writer, director, and star, we bring you Three Ages.